She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake! Don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan to. Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mira? The river gate. Thank you. The river gate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Maybe I can help. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly, you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them, at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was just the beginning. I plan to destroy anyone in my way. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers, I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. 
That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... You two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironwood, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mera, but it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. I have powerful allies. One word to Cersei, and you'll be in the cell next to Andros. You're mistaken, Mira Forrester. No one is coming to your aid. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. Lady Marjorie will hear of this. She'll have your head! Lady Marjorie will want nothing to do with you, Mira. It's time for you to answer for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mira. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironraft knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josera would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Van Fionn and Bjorn Sager Van. Svealog Mokre Befasta!
Gods! Finn! Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well, for a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. They don't mourn their dead. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. <sighs> the Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Are you all right? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgor and Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fulgor and Suna! What? Wait! Fulgor and Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder, and the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? 
to bring us back to Einrath, to crush our enemies south of the wall, and avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Oh, it looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. Human teeth. Oh, disgusting. Oh, no way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. I wouldn't do to get out of here. <sighs> Not getting out that way. Jailer, please. Shut it! Please come here! Oh, how strong are these bars? Get away from there! Jailer! Jailer, come over here! Oh, don't you start again! Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it! Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me! Please! I'll do anything! Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. Oh. 
I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. In Essos, they greet each other with the words, All men must die. If today is our day, then we should pray for the gods to judge us gently. If today is our day. Mira, making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. Father, I pray to you, judge me softly for my sins. Mother, I pray to you, blanket me with your grace. I found the gods at last. <laughs> they can't help you now. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <coughs> Enough! <coughs> I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. Your relationship with Cersei is valuable. And if you also find your way back into Marjorie's graces, well, it would be a shame to waste such influence. And then I realized there's something far more valuable than your friends at court, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Have you lost your mind? Not at all. This makes a lot of sense for both of us. I want Ironrath. And you're going to give it to me. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros. But it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> he marches on your house in full force with ten times your numbers. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive the battle. You don't know that! Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. If all this happens, I want revenge against Lud. Promise me he dies. Let me be clear, Mira. You're in no position to make demands. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that coal boy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say?
You will never have Iron Wrath. And you will never have me. What? You fool. I'd rather die. Fine. Have it your way. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! finished here come see me there's something I must show you I don't trust these people Garrett which is why I had to see Cotter he's not well and he won't live much longer I thought he was getting help whatever they've done it hasn't worked there's nothing that will save him now which is why I need you to do something for me I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The Nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrett. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him, and taint his blood. <coughs> Garrett. Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? She can't see you right now. But don't worry. She's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away. Oh, you have to protect Sylvie. Ah! Oh, I can't bear it anymore! Oh. He's been incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here. 
fighting by my side. But now you can use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I'm honored. Thank you. It's well deserved. Your friend is dying. But his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart. His beating heart. Then his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. His beating heart! This is madness! Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Please, don't take it any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Let us use his blood to give us strength. Out there, you saw what's possible. But that was only the beginning. Perform the ritual, and we can prepare for the coming winter. do it. With the North Grove. I knew I could count on you, Garrett. Use the dagger to open his chest. We need his heart. his heart, quickly, while his blood still pulses through it. Now bring it here. Squeeze the blood into the fire. While it's still warm. Thank you, Garrett. I know it was difficult, but you did the right thing. Now we must burn the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death.
Bring forth the next prisoner. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king, who here bears witness to her crimes. I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer. Kill her! She is innocent! A disgrace to her family no! name! Spare her! <coughs> Go on! Traitor! She! Take her head! Mira Forrester. In the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I it. sentence you to die. Shame! Raymond! Kill her! If you have final words, Shame. speak them now. She's innocent! Her. 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 A brave woman! Shame! Iron from ice! A brave She's woman! She's innocent! Oh, noble Kill man! Her. <laughs> Neil! Too many fucking guards. Keep your heads down. We'll have to find a way to distract them. More guards. Places crawling with them. Horses hate being tethered during a battle. If we can just get them loose. That must be Lod's tent. Of course he'd take the biggest one for himself. That tower gives a great view over their camp. Enough thinking. Where do you want us? Cut the horses free. Send them galloping through the camp. Horses? That's what you want? That's what we need. A distraction. Fine. But if any Whitehills get in our way, might have to cut them loose too. Meet here once you've done your part. Good luck, Basilisk. Try not to get yourself dead, Westerosi. Can we rely on them? You can trust them to fight. Beyond that. Come on, let's get this done.
Secure the forester, boy. Make sure the little shit can't escape. He can't run if he doesn't have legs. Do what you must. And if anything happens to me, kill him. Yes, father. Bring me my great sword. Fuck. What do we do? Now I want to make him bleed. Asha deserved better. We'll follow them. They'll lead us to Ryan. But, lad... Freeing my brother is more important. Fine. But before this is over, I am killing that man. Take Griff and his men head on. Sneak behind. Grab Ryan. Get him the hell out of here. Let me go! My brother will kill you all! Go on, hold him down, will ya? Be careful, Roderick. I swore to Asha I'd keep you alive. I'll do my best. <laughs> Griff. Oh, Roderick Forrester. I thought I'd have to tear down your walls to get your head. But here you are, making a gift of it. Oh, yes! I'm starting a collection. Shit! Uh, uh, fucking Forrester! Uh, oh. uh, you always think it's gonna go your way, don't you, Roderick? Your Oregon makes it sloppy. The basilisk. Last I saw, she escaped with my brother while I was taking care of Griff. He's dead. Good. I thought Beska would be here with Ryan. Beska will have to take care of herself. To Iron Rath! Lord. 
lord. What's the situation here, Duncrim? My lord, the White Hills have broken through, and the rest of their forces are closing in. Arrow, ready! We need reinforcements at the gate. Have you seen Dolly. Mother? Why aren't you? She, have you seen Mother? No one knows where she is. You better die now! <laughs> My lord, your command. Protect our people. Get them away from the battle. Get the small folk out of here. Do it now. Now this is the war I shall produce. his kind.
I'm sorry, brother. My lord! We have to get you out of here! Oh, oh. Roderick! Help me! No! 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 She's lost, my lord! We have to go! You must survive, Roderick! For the house! For all of us that fought on this day! Now! Ha 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 ha!